Hello, my name is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub. So the today's question for a discussion is about again the Carl Fisher titration and uh, let us understand whether the Carl Fisher uh, titration dependent on to the pH of your sample. Because in case if your sample is highly acidic, the, the pH of the sample solution can become lower towards the acidic side and in case if your sample is highly basic the pH can get increased. So it is very important to understand in case of this situation the higher pH or lower pH will be there, will be there in impact on to the, the titration, on to the determination of the water content. Yes, so we are going to answer this question as a part of this video. So you need to understand that the rate of the reaction depends on to the pH value of the solvent. The K titration gets influenced because of the pH change. So what is the preferred pH when it comes to the titration? It is actually in between 5 to 7.5 or roughly 5 to 8. So near to neutral, but in case if the pH is lesser than 5 or about lesser than 5, then the, tri the titration speeds, speed gets lower. So in case if you are you know getting a lot of time for uh, completing the titration, please check the pH of your solution. So how you can do that because during the uh, titration, the KF uh, determination, you may not be able to measure the pH. So once the uh, analysis gets over you can measure the pH of that particular so solution so that you can understand whether the pH is acidic and if it is acidic that could be the reason for the slow speed of your titration. In case if your solution is too acidic like in between pH 2 to 3 the reaction rate becomes much much lower and in case if it is one or less than that the reaction will not take place at all. So you must make very much sure what is the pH of your solution or whether your sample is acidic in the nature. A side reaction occurs at the higher pH above 8 and that consumes the iodine. If your sample is highly alkaline basic in the nature that can convert the pH into the higher side above 8. And this will lead to the side reaction which will consume the iodine that result into the higher consumption and you may falsely reporting the higher content of the water value. So what is the preferred pH range for the KF titration? So it should be in between 5 to 7.5. In between 5 to 7.5 this reaction rate is very good. In case if it is lower than 5. In case if it is higher than 7.5 or 8, you will have the challenges as discussed above. So in case if you are using highly acidic or basic samples, then you need to use the buffering agent so that the pH of this final solution be in the control. So for example, if you are using the uh, alkaline solution, you can add benzoic acid or salicylic acid which are acidifiers and that will further result into the decrease of the pH value. In case if you are having the highly alkaline samples, samples then you can add imidazole or pyridine while analysis of the sample so that the pH will get increased a little and it will be in the range of 5 to 7.5. Now the uh, to understand the amount of uh, buffer whether it is the acidifier or alkali, uh, alkaline buffer solutions, you have to run a demo uh, analysis to understand, okay, now if I run the solution uh, analysis titration, now this is my pH. So how much benzoic acid shall I add? Let me be 100 milligram and what is the pH? So make the pH of the solution in between 5 to 7.5. So that becomes your preferred value for the benzoic acid. And same is the case applicable for the alkaline buffers too. So I hope you now must be clear, you know, whether 
the KF reaction, the KF reaction is sensitive for the pH? It is. And in case if you are using some strong acid or alkali uh, samples for the evaluation of the water content, then you need to add either acidifiers or alkalizing agents to maintain the pH in the range of 5 to 7.5. Because this is the pH range where the reaction rate is optimal. Thank you so much.